Next time we'll see that we should also expose the grave errors of homosexuality. Uh, God clearly says that marriage is only between a man and a woman. There are two clear reasons why homosexuality is wrong. Jesus says this in Matthew 19. They were asking about marriage, and he says, Haven't you read that he who made them at the beginning, Matthew 19, 4, made them male and female? So we have a man and a woman. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and these two shall become one. They are no longer two but one. And what God has joined together, that's what marriage is. Man shall not separate. But today, culture, society, our government, our state governments, public opinion, is separating what God calls marriage. And God says, no, from cover to cover, the Bible always says the same thing. God designed marriage as a covenant with a sexual union between one man and one woman. But secondly, God says marriage is to be held in honor. That means marriage isn't just, oh, you know, that's an American custom. Mm -mm. Hebrews 13, 4 says marriage, the institution of marriage, which God initiated as he performed the first wedding between the first man and the first woman in the Garden of Eden, is to be held in honor. And, and what that means is that any homosexuality cannot be a marriage because God says homosexuality in every form is dishonorable, shameless, and contrary to nature. That's Romans 1, 26 and 27 and 28. Homosexuality can never be held in honor. God says marriage is in honor, but homosexuality is contrary to nature, and it's shamelessly dishonorable in God's sight. No matter what a public opinion says or the state may say, there is never such a thing as a homosexual marriage in God's sight, nor should it be in the convictions of his people. But American Christianity is basing its convictions not on the discipline of truth, but on public opinion, and we have to go with the flow. And God says, you might flow that way, but that's not truth, and I will judge those who defile the marriage bed.